Hey, well, nice to meet you guys. I've been reading your stuff for a long time, and I'm glad to have a chance to talk to you um, in person, and especially glad to be able to present to you Brian Asamoah, um, guy we've been following for a few years. Uh, actually, we spent a lot of time with him through the process, um, got to be around him at the Combine. He came into our room, uh, kind of impressed in his 15 minutes with us there, uh, watched him play live. We uh, met him at, the, uh, at his pro day. The first thing he said when uh, I met him at his pro day was how much he was looking forward to meeting Kwesi. Uh, he's from Ghana, and uh, he just uh, really wanted to shake his hand. And so I, I think when, when the call finally came through, I think his first instinct, or my, my first thought was, Brian's going to get a chance to do more than, than shake Quasey's hand. They're going to get to be around each other a whole bunch. So um, Brian is a, uh, a tone setter. He's a run and hit linebacker that can cover, that can blitz, um, and really hopefully add something special to our very talented linebacker group. Any questions? As far as just fits from what you guys saw from him, do you see him being an inside linebacker in, in this new system? Uh, yeah, and, and the nice thing about the coaches is they're going to look right at everybody's skill set and uh, figure out what they do well. Um, I think every everybody coming in is going to get a look on special teams and uh, you know work their way you know and, and see exactly how they can contribute. And I know Brian's eager to come in and help out anywhere he can. 12 often gets a little maligned as far as defenses go, but what did you see from him and just playing and, and the kind of style of football it, they play? It does, it, but he's played at a high level. He's played in, in uh, playoff games. He's played um, against top competition, and he uh, stands out even on field. Um, you know, one of his teammates got drafted the pick before him, and um, so just um, when you see his skill set and what he can do, even athletically watching him move around at his pro day, um, you know, where, where he was asked to drop and move around and do some things that um, you might not be able to see on tape, um, kind of checked off every box and what we were looking for in, in bringing a linebacker in to compete. When it comes to the size of linebackers, do you feel like that's just something where the whole league is kind of going younger at that position and he sort of fits into that? Uh, I think there's, a, there's, there's prototypes and there's position standards, but it's really more the movement and the athleticism and what he can do. Can he get to the ball carrier? Um, you know, when he gets there, does he get the guy down? Um, can you play on three downs? Can you be a, you know, a cover, you know, can you play in coverage? Can you affect the passer? Can you play on rundowns? Can you get off blocks? And Brian kind of check, 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 check everything that you that you would ask him to do. And what I'm excited about is having our coaches, you know, work with him and even our veteran group. Um, that's a special linebacker room that's that's evolving. And so, you know, having him join um, gives us a chance. When you have guys like. Eric Hendricks and Jordan Hicks in the middle there, guys that have played in, in, in similar schemes or played in this scheme. Mm -hmm. How much will Brian kind of be able to learn from them and, and lean on those two? I, I think it's a, it's a great um, – what what KO is set at setting up with, with the coaching staff um, and bringing in teachers and, and um, guys that, are, that, have, that have developed other players wherever else they've been. Um, you know, I'm excited to you know, have you know, Greg and Sam get their hands on Brian and see – what they can do to them. Uh, I, I expect the, the veterans to, you know, kind of embrace the, the culture the we us kind of culture that, that KO is creating. And um, when you add somebody with his skill set, I think it, it just elevates the whole the whole group. How difficult is the transition from Big Twelve to NFL when it comes to the linebacker position? Uh, you, in reference to like the offenses that they play against, yeah, just how much different the game is, uh, you know, from there to here. Yeah, I think it, it, it's they're playing against other NFL players. You're seeing a lot of, um, you know, Big Twelve receivers get drafted. You're seeing, you know, quarterbacks, although maybe not yet. Uh, but you're seeing, uh, you know, I think there's a, a good chance for um, his skill set to transfer over, um, you know, regardless of who they played against. But he's played some big time ball. How much time did you guys spend with him before the draft? What was the, the pre-draft contact like with him? Yeah, uh, I know our coaches have spent some time on the phone with him. Um, I personally met him at the pro day. Uh, he was in our in our combine room. Um, I believe there have been FaceTimes. Um, he was a player that his name came up several times in different scenarios when we, you know, sort of mocked out um, different trade up, trade back scenarios and. and more often than not, his name came off the board a lot earlier than what we took him. So the excitement in the room when um, he was still there, um, you know, I kind of ran to the podium and said, let me take this one. You know, we got our guy. So um, I think um, that part you could feel. 
with three of the four picks so far on defense, just how do you feel about the overall restocking of that side of the ball you guys have been able to do so far? Yeah, um, I, I think that what we're being intentional about is getting the best players, and it just happens to be that we've taken three different defensive players. I think, you know, looking at, at Andrew and, uh, and Lou, who you met uh, earlier today, um, you've got three weapons at, on different levels, and then you've got um, you know, bring in Ed uh, to start you know, kind of beef up the offensive line. Um, it's a great start. We've got a busy day tomorrow, um, and we'll be adding hopefully some more you know, high character guys that you know that meet our our sort of parameters. And um, we'll you know it, it's been it, it's been active, so it'll be interesting to see what day three looks like. Thanks, guys. Thanks.